What's good today, guys? Welcome back to Excess Airsoft. So, today, <laughs> I want to touch up on something that I keep on getting comments on. Uh, especially on my older unboxing videos. Okay, so I've gotten a lot of comments, a lot of comments, of people saying, why don't you just buy real guns, Xavier? Why don't you just buy real guns? They're better than airsoft, or whatever the fuck it might be. Why do you want so many airsoft guns? Why don't you buy a real gun, or... The real gun is better, you know, yada yada yada, whatever it might be, and I'm sure any true airsofter, or, you know, anyone who really airsofts, uh, has heard this at some point in time, when they buy an airsoft gun, from a friend, they might say, why don't you just buy a real gun? Well, <laughs> for a great many reasons. One, saying that an airsoft gun isn't a real gun is kind of a fucking joke. It is a real, I mean, is it tangible? Can I touch it? Yes. So obviously it's a fucking real item. The only difference is it's made for a different purpose. It's made so I can shoot my friends and not end up either dead or in fucking jail. And not kill them, for, for Pete's sake. Okay. So I don't want to, I don't want to confuse you guys and make you think that I don't like real firearms. That, that one right there, far end, that's a real gun. But it's there for a purpose. I have it for a reason. Okay, now I'm going to kind of just quick explain my philosophy behind owning behind owning real firearms, okay? I love firearms. I do. Okay, I come, again, from a military family. I come from a military family. So, firearms have always been a, a part of my life. Uh, they just have, okay? So, again, I like real firearms. But, to an extent, okay? I, I'm not gonna go and spend fucking thousands of dollars on 50 different real firearms. If I were to do that, if I were to match the type of airsoft guns that I have with real firearms, it would cost me fucking hundreds, hundreds of thousands of dollars most likely. And I'll get to that, I'll get back to that in a minute. Okay, so back to what I was saying about having a purpose. That one right there, I bought that as a fun gun. And I bought it when it was really, really fucking cheap. I picked that up for $375. That's cheaper than my e &L. That's $25 cheaper than my e &L, okay? That has done me very well. When you include all the stuff that I threw on it, I did put a little bit more into it, but still nothing crazy. Point is, is I got that as a fun gun, and it serves that purpose well. I don't need 50 different fun guns. I don't need that many. Okay, so I have my fun gun. I have my hunting rifles. I have two of you include my Mosin, but again, I got the Mosin for 150 bucks. That is fucking dirt cheap. That's nothing. Might as well. It's cheaper than the Airsoft Mosin, so why the fuck not? Okay? So I have my Mosin, I have my, my 300 Savage uh, hunting rifle, lever action, that's another fun gun, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Uh, I have my Black Shadow, I have my shotgun that I use for trap and for partridge. That, that serves that purpose well. I don't need a 50 different fucking shotguns, okay? That's serving a purpose. Um, I have, I mean, when I get, well, I am 21 now, so very soon here I'll have a handgun. Uh, I have my old muzzle loader, and that's more of a fucking wall hanger than anything. That was passed down through my family. Uh, so I have, what, maybe seven guns? I don't have a whole lot. I don't. And I don't need any more than that. This gun, this one will end up getting converted for blank fire, so I can take it to Milson West, and that's kind of why I built this other one to look exactly like it. So that's going to serve another purpose, so maybe I'll end up buying a different fun gun. But still, all those guns serve a purpose. So, kind of bring me back, you know, to what you can really even use a real gun for. Okay, there's more I can do with an airsoft gun. There's way more that I can do with an airsoft gun. And I'm sure that you guys are going to say, no, Xavier, you can hunt with uh, real guns. You can go out and go to a shooting range with real guns. You can do, like, different sports and stuff. Yeah, there are plenty of sports you can do. Uh, I'm going to tell you why. I won't do those in a second here. But as far as, like, having 50 different guns just to bring to a shooting range or to hunt with, like I just said to you, I don't need 50 different guns to hunt with. I can only use one at a time. And every single one of those guns is going to kill a fucking deer, unless it's like a 22 LR, which why would I have it in the first place unless I'm teaching like a fucking five-year-old how to shoot, which I personally don't think is a smart idea to begin with. So, no, I don't need 50 different hunting rifles, so maybe I want 50 different uh, guns to bring to a range. Why would I? All I can do is shoot it, okay? So I can go to a fucking shooting range at any given time and shoot pretty much anyone else's gun. If I want to. People are cool like that, and I'll do the same. If they want to shoot mine, cool. I'll get to shoot yours. Awesome. Let's fucking do it. You know, that, that's cool. But at the end of the day, that's all you can do. That's all you can do with that gun. You can bring it to a shooting range, and you can shoot it. That's it. I can go to the shooting range and shoot other people's different fun guns. So why do I really need a thousand different guns? I mean, yeah, if you like them as wall hangers, but quite frankly, some airsoft a lot of airsoft guns look just as real, if not better, than their real steel counterpart. Like... 
So like like I did with the ENL versus this washer like when I did that in the video, my ENL review. I showed that the ENL literally looks better than the real steel counterpart. So why not just hang the ENL on the wall? You know? If that's the reason you're collecting them. I guess that's another another point. Who in this country now, anyways, can afford to buy an, a real steel M240 Bravo to put it up on the wall. <laughs> a real steel M240 Bravo, even one that's been deactivated, you know, you can't even use it anymore. It's dysfunctional. Uh, it won't, it won't shoot. It's fucking tens of thousands of dollars. That's a lot of fucking money to throw down on a glorified wall hanger. I mean, even the ones you can buy are most likely not full automatic. I mean, to buy a full automatic 240 Bravo, you have to have all kinds of permits, and the government's on your ass, and all this other crazy shit. I can buy the Airsoft 240 Bravo sometimes for 350 bucks. Again, tens of thousands or $350. That brings me to the point on, on how much they cost, okay? My, my CQB Barrett. My CQB Barrett. That cost me may... Well, fucking, it cost me much. My mom bought, m bought me that base snow wolf Barrett back in middle school when it was like 200 bucks. I think it was 180 I think, or maybe it was 280. I can't remember. I was young. But even if you include that, and then you include the PVC pipe that I threw on it, the rails that I put on it, all the little tiny Nicky shit that I did, and if you include, like, top-notch internals that I could throw in it right now, and the custom magazine, maybe $500. Maybe at best. If I want to trust a real steel M107, that's, what, 10 grand? 12? Fucking 15 if there's a Democrat in office, which, again, I'm not getting into politics on this. That's just the way the firearms industry works. If there's a, a, any type of progressive or non-Republican in office, firearms go up. Because <laughs> everyone loses their minds and has to buy them all, like, now. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Regardless, so, between ten dollars and $15,000 for an M107. That one I have, again, $500. Now, if I were to convert that real M107 to be... A CQB one, which can be done, regardless of what you say. It can be done if you have enough money. That's just it. You have to have a lot of fucking money. So let's just ballpark it. Let's say, you know, they got to they gotta do all this chopping stuff, you're paying for the machine time, and even if you're mechanically inclined, it's still going to cost you thousands. Now, let's just say if you get it done, that's probably, what, 30 grand? 30 grand for a gun that I have on my wall that looks just as good for 500 bucks. I mean... Yeah, I guess people might enjoy, if you were to bring that uh, real steel CQB Barrett out to a shooting range, people might enjoy it a little more. But then again, not really. If I were to bring my Airsoft one out to a shooting range, I guarantee, or not shooting range, uh, uh, Airsoft field, I can guarantee you that people are going to be like, oh, what the fuck is that thing? And I'm going to say, oh, it's a CQB Barrett, I made it myself, yada, yada, yada. And they're going to love the shit out of it just as much as if I brought a real steel one to a fucking shooting range. Fuck, I, <laughs> I'm sure it's a shooting range, some old fart would probably be like, what the hell is this black guy doing? And not because he's racist, but probably just because, like, in, in their heads, it's like, why the fuck would you do that to a 50 cal? Because there's so many more purists in the real steel firearm world. There are a lot of purists. There are. <laughs> okay? Again, I come from a military family, we all have firearms, we all do. And I can, I can tell you right now that when I got that thing, they were like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it doesn't have wood on the stock. <laughs> they see that as heresy, or a terrorist gun, I think my uncle called it. <laughs> Hunting with a terrorist gun. So, at the end of the day, the people at the airsoft, airsoft field might enjoy my airsoft Barrett much more. Then that also brings in the topic of even letting them shoot it. Okay, so for 110 airsoft BBs, I would have let them shoot a whole mag out of my own custom magazines. 110 airsoft BBs. How much does that cost me? I mean, I'm talking a couple cents here, okay? Now, maybe a dollar if you're fucking buying, like, aluminum, 0.6 gram, or BBs that are just fucking made out of God's anus, okay? Now, no one's gonna do that. I don't know why you'd be shooting those out of an airsoft field to begin with, unless you're just a straight-up asshole. So, what, maybe a couple cents to let somebody shoot a mag of that? Yeah, they might not enjoy it as much as shooting a real steel 50 cal, but then again, a real steel CQB 50 cal, that'd probably break your fucking shoulder. <laughs> a Barrett that has no recoil pad, that's gonna hurt, okay? You're not, you can enjoy it for the first 10 rounds, you ain't gonna enjoy it, enjoy it after that, you're gonna wanna take a break. So, let's just say I do let them shoot that 110 rounds. Now, each round right now for 50 cal is between $8 and $12. So let's just ball, average it. Let's say $10, right down the middle, even if you're loading your own ammo. Let's say $6 if you're loading your own ammo. At the $10 figure, 110 rounds, that's $1,100. The $6 figure, it's like, what? Six, $700? $700 to let somebody shoot 110 rounds. Versus a couple cents to let them shoot a mag on my Airsoft Barrett. And they're going to enjoy it, again, almost as much, or if not more. Because it's not going to hurt as much at the, Airsoft, at the Airsoft thing, rather than shooting the real one. Okay? The real steel one. 
so why? Why would I spend the $30,000 and then the $1,100? Maybe if I was a multimillionaire, I would do it, but there is no point. There is no point. So that's, a, that's immediately, right off the bat, something way more, way more value I'm getting out of my, my Airsoft Barrett than I am out of a real steel one. Now, again, I'm not bashing saying that you should not go out and buy real firearms. If that's your thing, do it, man. But don't be sitting here and belittling me because I like to buy a shit ton of airsoft guns. I buy them because they're cheap. Quite frankly, I really don't need this many airsoft guns. But, again, they're so fucking cheap and I haven't bought some in a while. I haven't bought any airsoft guns in a very, a very long while. Because now I'm kind of trying to make my own. And for making my... I can bankroll making my own airsoft guns. Ground up. My own ones. For a fraction of the cost of making, you're buying one single real steel, like, high-end firearm. Like, for instance, if I were to buy an EMG Sailing Arms Grey, airsoft one, 400 and so, 480 bucks, 500 I spent on mine with the fucking shipping or whatever the hell it was, I can't remember, 500 bucks. Buying a real steel, uh, a real steel uh, Sailing Arms Grey, $5,000 at least. That, that's a, what, fucking thousand percent markup? That's absurd. I could buy ten of them. Ten airsoft ones. I could outfit my, all my friends with the one of the best M4s on the market, ARs on the market, and spend the same amount of money just to buy one real steel one for myself. And then again, that brings me back to shooting it. Shooting that real steel one is now going to cost me way more than shooting my airsoft ones, which I can use my airsoft ones and we can shoot each other with them. Sure, you can shoot, you can shoot your friend with a real steel if you really, really want to, I guess, if you're a fucking asshole and you want to kill people, whatever, that's on you, man. You're gonna die or you're gonna end up in jail. It's simple as that, okay? I can shoot my airsoft one, and the only way I'm gonna die sh shooting my airsoft one is if I'm out down in public and people think it's a real steel and a cop pulls a gun and blows my head off, okay? That's the only way I'm gonna die from shooting an airsoft gun. <laughs> it's gonna be the real steel gun that kills me. If I'm on an airsoft field where people know what that is, I can shoot at them all day. Nobody's killing my ass, and it's not costing me an arm and a leg to do it. Again, I like, I love firearms. I really do. But when you're telling me that I shouldn't buy airsoft guns and I should buy only real steel firearms because they're just so much better, why? Why are they better? At the end of the day, they're not fucking better. They're better at killing people, okay? Because that's what they're... That's what they're fucking meant to do, <laughs> okay? Muzzle loaders were in invented to kill people. They were invented as a war, something, a tool for war, okay? They were passed down into hunting. They didn't start out as hunting rifles. Some hunt hunter didn't say, oh, I'm gonna just abandon my bow and pick up this black fucking black powder rifle that takes me two minutes to reload versus just swapping to a different arrow. And I can shoot just as far, just as fine, okay? Some hunter didn't do that. It was a military saying, hey, these have a phenomenal potential, and then mini balls came out. It was all a military thing, okay? They were invented to kill people. That's why guns were invented, okay? That's why, period. There is no, no if ands, ors, or buts, and they do that very well. Yes, and they also hunt very well, because we're the same sacks of meat that we hunt, the, just like a deer, just on two legs. Okay? So they're great for hunting. Fine. I'm not saying take guns away. I love, again, I love firearms. I love having my firearm. I like it. And, like, if I had a handgun for self-defense, if I had my shotgun for trap shooting, or I had my shotgun for partridge hunting, I had my hunting rifle for this, and that for that, that's fine. Okay? I don't need... 50 different guns. They're not better than my airsoft guns. They're better at what they do. Well, fuck, not really, because an airsoft gun isn't meant to kill people. An airsoft gun is just to hit people, okay? It's to hit hit them and have them call their hits. I guess that's one thing a real steel firearm is better at, is people, all, I guess, in real war, they always call their fucking hits. There's no way not to call your hit, because your arm might be blown off. And that's another thing, too. Guns are for, well, like, real war? No, that's not more fun than airsoft. That's not. That's not. Real war is not fun. Sure, you can shoot at people in real war with a real firearm. But real war is not a fun thing, and nothing is good about war. Airsoft is fun because I can just call my hit and go back to respawn. You know, I might be pissy if I get overshot, but you get overshot with a real firearm, bud. Throw in the towel, you're done. <laughs> That's game, GG. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter what fucking HPA that, that guy has. There's no ref to say, oh, he overshot you, you're, you're still in, bud. He's got to go out. No, 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 you're dead. So, no. Firearms are great at what they do. I gotta, I gotta re reiterate this. Firearms are great at what they do. They're great for killing people, and that's a glorified cap gun once I convert it for blank fire. That, that's what it's for, okay? It's great at doing that job. It will be. Great at doing it, being a blank fire rifle. Airsoft. This, this airsoft gun right here, which now costs much less than that, 
is also great at what it does. It shoots fucking 60, 70 yards I'm getting out of this gun. I, I, probably even more than that now that I put the fucking R-Hop in it. I, I bought a, uh, I think it was a... I forget. The Evike sells the pre-done ones now. I have one of those in there. I haven't even ranged the thing yet. Regardless, it does the job well. It shoots really far. I'm not ranging most AEGs, most other AEGs. And people call their hits when they get hit by it. So it's doing that well. I have an LCT gearbox in that. And just stock LCT, but it does that well. So, why? Why can't I buy more airsoft guns than real firearms? Why are you telling me that I can't have more airsoft guns than real firearms? One, they're, uh, to reiterate, one, they're cheaper. Two, they do their job just as well. Three, there's more things I can do with them. And four, they're cheaper. Five, they're cheaper. <laughs> like, fuck, they do some jobs better than real steel firearms. A lot of people that collect real steels, like I mentioned earlier, like the 240 Bravo. If I buy a real steel just to hang it up on the wall, why not just buy an airsoft one? That's what a lot of Japanese collectors do, because they can't have the real steel firearms. They collect the airsoft ones. They, they put, like, AEP gearboxes in, like, full-on World War II era, like, heavy machine guns and put them up on the wall. Because it still serves that purpose, and then, hey, you can still go shoot it. Like, hey, you guys want to shoot it? Yeah, it's just an AEG, but it'd still be kind of cool to shoot. Fuck it. So, for that purpose, too, if you're just looking for wall hangers, why not do airsoft? Like, this gun right here. That's gorgeous. That gun. It's gorgeous. That gun. Uh, it's not gorgeous yet. <laughs> but I will be, speaking of which, I'll be doing a video on that very shortly here, guys. Uh, that's actually the new Magwell adapter. <laughs> But all right, I'm sure I've just caused enough butt hurt for a day, probably for a week. <laughs> so again, I'm sorry if I offended you. I am genuinely sorry. My goal isn't to offend you. But for the people that will sit here and tell me, like my brother used to say this shit to, me, shit to me all the time, why don't I just buy a real gun? <laughs> it's like, well, okay. Okay. One, I can't afford a real gun. Two, I'm 12. <laughs> what do I need to do with a real steel fucking AK? Why? Three, I can't afford a real gun. Four. I can't shoot my friends with the real gun. Again, you can, but I'm not a dick. <laughs> I'm not an asshole. I don't want to die. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want, I don't want to be sodomized. <laughs> I don't want that, okay? I can shoot my friends with an airsoft gun. They might be mad at me, especially if I'm an asshole and I shoot them like for no reason. Yeah, but if I did that with a real firearm, they're dead. Why have friends if you're going to kill them? Why have friends if you're going to kill them and go to jail or be killed for it? Why? Why be a dick? I'm just going to use my airsoft gun. And we're going to have a, a genuine game and a sport just like you can do with a real gun. I guess you can do... Like, I, I guess I, I skipped past that. You can do sporting, real still sporting events. But that's way more expensive than airsoft. Oh, and that's another thing, too. Shooting a gun very often. Real steel firearms. If I let them shoot that 110 rounds through that barrel, like I talked about earlier, on a real one, I'd probably have to swap the barrel, do a whole fucking breakdown. And re I'd have to change so much shit, it would cost me way more than shooting my airsoft gun. So, I guess, to put it into bullet points, price, e effectiveness at what they do. They're both highly effective at what they do, okay? Now, some more than others, but in my opinion, it goes to airsoft. There's more that I can do with an airsoft gun. They're more effective at it, okay? Because there's more I can do with them. Uh, and then, that's what I had. Price, effectiveness, and what else? I guess that's really it. I mean, I'm sure I had other points, but my brain is like, I'm on 400 milligrams of caffeine right now, so that is not good. Um, but yeah, I, I want to say one more time. Again, I love firearms. I have a number of them. I love real steel firearms, but to me... I only buy them for a purpose. And the same argument can be made for airsoft guns. You buy an airsoft gun for a purpose, to fill a role, okay? That's what you really should do. But there are, again, those collectors. And I'm a collector. I collect them. So I buy many airsoft guns to fill a great many roles in my collection. And you can do that with firearms, too, if that's what you want. But you have to have a huge pockets to do it. There's more that I can do with these. When I tech on these and I change them up for heresy, I can do it. I can do anything I want to these and not break any laws. I can cut the barrel down to this, and I'm not breaking any laws. If I do that with that, I just turn that into a pistol, and I, my ass is going to jail. <laughs> if I saw that down and change the fucking internal thing so it's a full auto, my ass is going to jail. I can I can run full on auto on that and shooting rabbits in my backyard, and I'm gonna be fine. The only time I'll go to jail doing shooting shit is if I'm shooting robins, which is our state bird. All right, I think I've made my point. I love firearms, I really do, but to me, airsoft guns are just better. 
they are a better fit for me okay for what i like to do and that's tech on things and build different things and shoot different things they're better suited for me because again they're cheaper and they do the job just as well if not better okay so I'm sorry if I butt hurt anybody. I'm sure there's a lot of butt hurt people. I'm sure there's going to be some comments and probably 50,000 dislikes in this video. But here is why I buy airsoft guns before I buy real firearms. Why I like airsoft more than I like real steel firearms. Alright, my camera's going to die here, guys. It, it's flashing at me right now as we speak. So, uh, you guys, I've summarized it enough. <laughs> Again, I'm going to be doing a video on this guy. Great, Schneer, excuse this awkward angle. Uh, that's the Saga update. I will have that out very shortly to you guys. Four minutes left. Oh, no. Um, so I'll have that out very shortly to you guys. Um, I hope you guys are, are not, like, super pissed off at these rant videos. I kind of like doing these rant videos. Uh, I felt that that was a topic I kind of wanted to hit on a while ago. Uh, and I, I just figured, why not? You know, fuck it. Give it its own video. Um, I'm going to be doing a podcast pretty shortly here. Most likely a podcast kind of thing with Call Sign Reach. Maybe we'll be playing a game or something. Just talking Airsoft stuff and different types of things about Airsoft. Uh, Call Sign Reach and I, and then as well as Dr. Snow Bunny, uh, who does, like, Twitch video gaming videos and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try to get some collabs going for you guys. Maybe you guys will enjoy that. Maybe spread the fam a bit, like Airsoft Mike did for me. Um, yeah, I'm rambling. I'm just rambling to fill out this card, because I got three minutes left. Let's see, what else can I talk about? Um, <laughs> college girls are hot. Oh my god. Being back on campus, guys. <laughs> oh god i forget why i like to go to school um yeah no that's that's a that's a lot of fun um yeah bitches <laughs> um also i i think i, I finally got back on a gta final i think uh little inferno a uh, shout out to you man he, he joined me a couple times i always feel like an asshole because i never i haven't really played with him yet all right and that goes for everyone on xbox if you have an xbox account feel free to add me uh, i don't really i've like i have social anxiety again so i'm not i don't always play but eventually i'd like to really start getting like groups going and maybe if i get like 10 of us onto uh, uh gta 5 we could just fucking run a game and just slaughter everyone that'd be pretty cool uh so yeah i guess that's all i have to talk about oh give me some uh give me some topic ideas for some next like some future rants give me some topics also remember the uh, submission is still open for the heresy competition make sure you let everyone know uh, if you have a her heretical build that you've done or a friend has done, make sure you get in touch with me over on my Facebook or on my Instagram, which is in the description below. Uh, Alright, guys. Peace.